This is Twit. Intel has announced new CPUs integrating AMD Radeon graphics. Just let that yep. sink in for a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you heard that, folks. You heard you uh, heard what he just said. <laughs> and w- when we're going to say two other things in just a second that are even crazier. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. But uh, you know what's going on? I mean this this looks like a what I will affectionately call a freaking massive processor. Uh, well, I mean it's not just a processor, right? I mean there's a, there's an extra. Um, what is it called? A multi-die interconnect bridge, I believe, is the, the the new term that Intel's using there. But it's kind of like the the thing that we saw, like with the um, with the Vega GPUs, where they had the memory integrated right next to the GPU, all within the same substrate, just all mounted to the same little kind of like a you know an interim PCB or whatever you want to call it. You know, just some method of grouping the things before you put them onto the motherboard. Um, and that's what's going on here. Uh, so Intel had this, you know, they already had this technology, this way of linking, you know, their CPU with something off to right. the side in a, in a relatively fat, you know, fast communicating manner and, and whatnot. Um, but they just wanted to have, you know, the ability to ha- put a faster GPU on there, faster than what they can do themselves. Now, these parts are supposed to still have the Intel integrated GPU as well. It's just that the end result, when you put it into a system, a laptop, uh, you know, uh, low power kind of desktop system, maybe um, when you put this combined part in there, it will act just as if you had a discrete GPU along mm-hmm. with a, a CPU, like where you had that, those laptops that can use the integrated graphics and then they can sure. switch over on the fly to, you know, a GeForce something or an AMD something. Right. Um, right. Same deal here, except the packaging is way smaller. Right. Um, the right. footprint way smaller, and you're still getting decent performance. We had some leaked performance numbers, I believe, that are in that article. If you scroll a little further down, um, and the figures that we saw come out in the leak uh, ran somewhere between a mobile 1050 Ti and a mobile uh, GTX 1060. So, in something that's in a very compact form factor, that's taking something you know somewhere around half of the footprint on the motherboard uh, mm-hmm. to get that you know to get reasonably, uh, you know, pretty good graphics performance for, especially for mobile out of something that's a, such a small footprint. Yeah. I mean, you, you let, you let off this point talking about Apple. This is the exact kind of thing that you would end up seeing in like an Apple, you know, computer, Apple, Apple laptop, right? Mm-hmm. Because they always, they always tout the MacBooks, how small they can get the PCB and, and, and everything. And now, you know, the only thing left is the storage and the Ram. Everything else is huh. sitting right there, uh, you know, on that, on that package. Um, I kind of joked about on the podcast that all you need is like some some cross point and some RAM and some little bit of flash and pile them all on that same PCB and you literally have everything you need. You know, everything else is just it, everything else is just interconnection and batteries. Uh, you know, so it, it's impressive. Uh, it, it now the yeah. counter is, of course, like if your GPU fails, you're not necessarily going to DIY fix this thing. Right, you're not going to go on eBay and find some extra board for your laptop and swap it out or try to mm-hmm. upgrade after the purchase or anything. This is just what you get is what you get, right? It's all it's all built into a part. It was all done at the factory. You're not changing anything, but at the end of the day, it'll make things smaller, cheaper, lighter, you know, all those things. Um, which of course is where all those computer stuff's going. Yeah, there's a video showing them where all the parts would have to be laid out onto the board of the thing and if you just combine them all together you can save a lot of room you know how about that you don't have kids to, yeah yeah <laughs> they're using they're using the hbm memory so it's it's all the dies are stacked on top of each other off to the side of the gpu and then on top of that you know just the fact that the gpu is right there parked right next to the cpu right it's good stuff 